that pain was just some, it's indescribable. And what hurts me more though is the fact that nobody cared. I felt helpless. Nobody was helping me. There's so many people there and nobody lifted a finger basically. The notion that a woman could give birth in a jail cell after being in labor for hours and hours and hours in excruciating pain, calling out for medical care, um, having had her water broken for uh, several hours, bleeding. I mean, I, I cannot fathom any legitimate explanation for not providing her with adequate medical care. Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakadash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, uh, the Creator, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites. By Hashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly re referred to as Jesus, and uh, Rakakadash is Holy Spirit in the true Hebrew language. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. And as you saw, what happened in the video, uh, this uh, so-called Latino woman was forced to give birth in a jail cell, all right? And uh, the, the, the people that, that was responsible for it, the, the officers that were responsible, said that they didn't, um, they didn't break any rule or any violation or anything like that, you know? They, they, they don't accept wrongdoing when it's done to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, because you are the Israelites. Now, if this was a so-called white woman... This would have been all over the news. This wouldn't have been on no uh, no alternative news uh, site, Top Buzz, or, uh, well, let's say CNN, but people ain't talking about it. See, if this was a so, like, like years ago when that girl, uh, Elizabeth Smart, got lost, man, that girl was on TV for, for a year, almost a whole year. They, ain't, they don't let you, when that one little white girl, uh, 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 what's her name? Hathaway or something got lost in Haru, but they kept that in your public eye, all right, to let you know that, and the scriptures clarify, look, this this is, this is basically just shows the hatred of the so-called white man to our people, the Israelites. We are the Israelites, all right, and the scripture says that it will be enmity between us, man, all right, let me get that in Genesis, and you so-called, you Latinos, all right, uh, uh, with the so-called fair skin and, uh, uh, and the straight hair and the ones of you that think you can pass into the, the so-called white man society and all of that, you're hated too, okay, no matter how much you may resemble them. And that's a curse. All that, all that, uh, the, 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 everything that people desire from the so-called, uh, for the so-called white race is a curse. Having that pale flesh, a curse. Sunburn. The sun kills you, all right? Having that blonde hair, that's leprosy. Leprosy of the hair, the, 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 the pale flesh, leprosy of the skin. Having blue eyes and light-colored eyes is a genetic mutation, all right? I mean, the, the light, uh, you don't have enough melanin in your eyes, and, it, and, and the light from the sun affects that, too. But that's what people, that's what our people desire, going to get the, 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 the contacts, the green and blue contacts, and, and dyeing their hair yellow and bleaching their skin white. All right. Uh, let me. Uh, this is Genesis, chapter three, verse fourteen. And Yahweh the Most High said unto the serpent, Because thou hast, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Now the scripture says, uh, describes men as beasts. All right. So this is not talking about uh, animals. This is parabolic. And the serpent. The most uh, uh, cunning, the, the, the one with most guile, trickery, is the so-called white race. Out of all the races, they're the most the cunning, they're the most trickery. Just look at history. 
okay? Look at the so-called Jews. The people call themselves Jewish today. Look how many countries they got kicked out of because of the, 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 uh, uh, the skullduggery that they was doing behind the scenes in those countries. Ma ma trying to ma manipulate uh, the politics and take over and, and bring uh, filth to the population. All right? It says, uh, And Yahweh the Most High said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Verse 15, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. So your seed, your offspring, the so-called white offspring, the Caucasian offspring, which are the Edomites, and who? The children of Jacob, the Israelites, their offspring. All right? No, uh, we just can't get along. Like Rodney King saying, can we all get along? History says no. Just look at history. All right? Even if we chilling, in, if, even if we chilling man, in our own business, they going to they gonna hate us. Enmity, hatred. There will be hatred between our seed and thy seed. Uh, Ayab. All right? Ayab. Hostility. Okay? Get it through your head that this man hates you, all right? Though he go crouching, though he... Just because he's not telling you in his face, look, I hate you, I want to see you dead. The scripture says uh, his words were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. That goes back to the, to the, to the cunningness, like a serpent, a snake, okay? It says, uh, and, and her seed, all right? It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So all of this... Uh, all of this pain and suffering and that the so-called white race is causing to our people, that's just the bruising of our heel, all right? That's just the bruising of our, of, of our foot. But what this, the, the, the saying goes, you cut off the head and the body, and the body die, all right? See, the, the Lord the girding us up, all right? Like the scripture says, I girt thee, though thou hast not known me, you know, in Isaiah. But your head gonna be gonna be bruised when you when you get put out of the earth for all the evil and wickedness that you've done against the Lord and His people. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah twenty eight and fifty. It says, uh, "I'm gonna start at forty nine. Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth." Yeah, uh, the Caucasians, you Caucasians, uh, love to resemble. Uh, Use the eagle as an emblem. The Roman army did it. Uh, America does it. Uh, France do, uh, uh, did it or does it. England, uh, uh, Germany. All right, so it represents you Edomites. Okay, you Caucasians, cave dwellers, and you came from far. You you came all the way to the Americans and put the 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 the, the Northern Kingdom in slavery and 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 uh, atrocities committed against them. Then you went to the west coast of Africa and got the Southern Kingdom. It says, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, because we ain't speak your language. It says, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So, they don't have no uh, no conscience when it comes to old or young. You know, like, when you, the old and the young represent, like, they helpless. So, they're not, a, you know, you kind of show some type of passion or some type of uh, mercy when dealing with older people or younger, uh, uh, real, real young, young, young children, all right, but not, but, but, but not Esau in, in, in accord to our people, not white people when this, in regard to, to, to Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and you saw that. Oh, we, we, we done, we have done nothing wrong according to the man. Please, man. That woman, that woman. And then you come, and then you know, in jail, they can, they looking at the cameras. I, I I I truly believe that they watched on camera. They watched that woman give birth, man. The the so-called white man is sick like that, man. Don't be surprised. They've done. They've come out and done worse. This this is no big deal according to how far that they can go. I bet you that they watched that woman give birth on camera, man. That's my in my opinion. I believe that Amos one and eleven. It says, Thus said Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Cast off all pity. Rakum, womb, compassion. All right, compassion. All right, no, no oh, uh, uh, compassion in the, plural, in the plural, 
by extension the womb as cherishing the fetus by implication right so it's like you will see something and and like a a a a young young innocent newborn child how innocent can you get from being newborn all right the 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 average person in their right mind would show compassion to that a, a pregnant mother in the process of giving birth hey let me do what i can to get her some help a doctor or a nurse or something but not you verse 12 but i will send a fire upon Timon which shall devour the palaces of Basra. So you're going to be destroyed. And when we bring this out and say all this, you so-called white people, you're just stunned. You're, just, you're so shocked that, that, that you got to pay for this. Psalm 137 and 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, Esau, the kingdom of Edom, the daughter of Babylon, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served. So when the tables turn, see, the, the karma. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Right, so, and, and, and that's the scripture. So when, when the Lord uh, flipped everything right side up, when he, when he raised up the Israelites and raised up our kingdom, the righteous kingdom, under Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, and, and and the order under that, then we're going to be happy when we bash your little ones against the stones, when we dash, shatter, break, nepotize, dash, beaten pieces, happy shall he be that taketh and beat to pieces thy little ones against the stones. What's your little ones? Child, boy, all right, I lol, I will lol. A suckling babe, young child, infant, little one. Because that's what you did. Oh, oh, don't on the vocabulary. Look, look at what they believe. Look at what they teach. That's what you did. And then Christopher Columbus uh, come and do that. Then he, then he, uh, 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 impale and and and, and spike the uh the women uh when they was pregnant. And then they cut out and rip the babies out. So karma. All right, it gotta be, it gotta be, you gotta pay for that. You reap what you sow. All right, this is Psalm 94 and 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? Right, so they then they'll say, Oh, well, we, we didn't violate any procedures or technically, and then they got all these loopholes where uh, 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 they can uh, mistreat you and, 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 and do mischief and don't get no payback for it. See, that, that's, not, that's not justice. All right, that's not justice. You can't have a, a loophole to escape something, man. That's not justice. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Point blank, period. But when you read, uh, I'm, I'm going to read some more of this article because it's just, all right. Let me see. She couldn't. The now 27-year-old was locked up at the Denver County Jail, and she says her pleas for help went unanswered. Almost six hours after she said she first told the guard on duty she was in labor, she delivered the baby boy alone in a jail cell. Right? Yeah, let me see some more. Oh, hey, the Denver Sheriff Department has denied its deputies did anything wrong. They gave her a water-soaking uh, 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 rag. Now, first of all, when you're in a jail or a county jail, they're supposed to have some type of medical unit there. There's some type of people there. So you couldn't, you couldn't, obviously the woman was pregnant, obviously. So you mean to tell me you couldn't alert a, a, a medical staff that the, that's at the jail, because jails have medical staff, to come and look at the woman? To come and, and, and diagnose and, and say something? But have changed their policies regarding women and labor as well. Oh, we didn't do anything wrong. We just changed some policies. Man, whatever, man. All right. All right. According to the lawsuit, she told the jail staff that her water had broken and that she had abdominal pain. Childbirth was imminent. About 15 minutes later, someone slid her. Someone slid what her lawyer described as a folded white absorbent pad under the door. So basically, they okay, we acknowledge that you're pregnant. We acknowledge that your water broke, but this is what we're going to do about it. No, they did something wrong, man. That's, they, they, they did something wrong. All right. Let me see. 
She's still the only person inside the cell from what could be seen of the video. Seconds later, she takes her pants off, one leg, and then her underwear. Finally, a guard appears at the doorway, takes half a step inside, and goes back out while Sanchez appears to continue to scream. The video shows, with her weight shifted to one side of her body, Sanchez gives birth to a baby boy with the guard still standing in the doorway. Then a nurse enters the room. Then a nurse enters the room, according to the video. The nurse that finally does come in looks down at the baby that has been born as if it had just dropped down from out of space. The way he picks up the baby is as if he's never seen a baby before, said Newman, explaining that the appearance of a baby should not have been a surprise. Just, they hate us, man. It said, I'm going to read the last sentence of this paragraph. Instead, the lawsuit says that staff ordered a non-emergent van to take her to the hospital. So then they drive her to the hospital in, in, in just a regular a regular old police van. A regular van, not an emergency van, which probably she could have laid down and something like that. Uh, oh, that, that pain was just it's indescribable. And what hurts me more, though, is the fact that nobody cared. Nobody cared, man. Esau, Edom don't care about us, man. According to the lawsuit, Denver health nurses contracted by the jail as staff members were unprepared even after the baby was born, unable to find clamps to cut the umbil umbilical cord, the lawsuit says. Despite multiple requests, requests no clamps were found. No, no, no nurse at the jail ever clamped or severed the, umbil the umbilical cord, the suit said. So with that being said, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Ka'kudah, Shalom.